Currently, submarines are in service with 39 countries worldwide, showcasing a significant global reliance on these underwater vessels for defense and strategic operations. This widespread use of submarines highlights their essential role in maintaining maritime security and executing various military tasks, ranging from reconnaissance to direct combat engagements. Among these nations, six possess fleets powered by nuclear reactors, reflecting advanced technological capabilities in naval warfare. These countries, which include the United States, Russia, China, the United Kingdom, France, and India, have invested heavily in nuclear propulsion for their submarines, allowing for extended operational range and endurance, as well as enhanced stealth capabilities. Nuclear-powered submarines can remain submerged for months, making them formidable tools for both offensive and defensive operations. Additionally, three more countries are in the process of building their first nuclear submarines, signaling an expansion in nuclear naval capabilities. These nations, which are believed to include Brazil, South Korea, and Australia, are developing their nuclear submarine programs to enhance their maritime security and assert their strategic presence on the global stage. The construction of these submarines involves sophisticated technology and significant financial investment, underscoring the strategic value attributed to nuclear-powered naval assets. Despite the wide distribution of submarines globally, the largest and most formidable submarines belong to Russia and the USA. Both countries have a long history of submarine development and have produced some of the most advanced and heavily armed submarines in the world. These vessels are capable of carrying a wide array of weaponry, including torpedoes, cruise missiles, and ballistic missiles, thus playing a critical role in their respective naval strategies. Modern nuclear submarines, classified as SSBNs, ship, submersible, ballistic, nuclear, are formidable missile cruisers designed with strategic purposes in mind. These submarines are equipped with nuclear armament on board, ensuring a powerful deterrent capability. SSBNs serve as a key component of the nuclear triad providing a secure and survivable second strike capability in the event of a nuclear conflict. Their ability to remain hidden beneath the ocean's surface makes them nearly impossible to detect and neutralize, thus ensuring that any adversary must consider the possibility of a devastating retaliatory strike. This strategic deterrence is a cornerstone of modern defense policies for countries that possess these advanced submarines. In this issue, we will delve into the intricacies of the world's most powerful submarine examining its features, historical significance, and current status. The largest SSBNs, ship, submersible, ballistic, nuclear, globally, are the Yayi American Ohio class and the Russian project 941 Akula class, also known as the Typhoon class by NATO. These submarines are renowned for their immense size, advanced technology, and strategic importance. Among the Typhoon class, the most renowned is the TK-208 Dmitry Donskoy, a submarine that has set numerous world records for its impressive armament power, length, displacement, and other features. The Project 941 Akula class was a groundbreaking development by the Rubin Design Bureau in St. Petersburg, under the leadership of the esteemed naval engineer Sergei Kovalev. The first submarine of this class was laid down at the Sevmash shipyard in 1976, a monumental undertaking that marked a new era in submarine design and capabilities, and it was officially commissioned into service in 1980. The TK-208 Dmitry Donskoy, named after a famous Russian historical figure, has distinguished itself not only by its formidable physical attributes, but also by its role in various naval operations and tests. This submarine boasts a length of 175 meters, 574 feet, and a submerged displacement of up to 48,000 tons, making it one of the largest submarines ever built. Its armament includes 20 R-39 RIF intercontinental ballistic missiles, each capable of carrying multiple nuclear warheads, showcasing its strategic deterrence capabilities. Today, the TK-208 Dmitry Donskoy remains the only one of its kind still active in the Russian Navy, standing as a testament to the ingenuity and prowess of Soviet-era engineering. This submarine, with its massive size and extensive capabilities, continues to be a significant asset in Russia's naval arsenal. Its continued operation reflects both the enduring legacy of Soviet naval engineering and the ongoing strategic priorities of the Russian military. The TK-208 Dmitry Donskoy not only serves as a powerful tool of military might, but also as a symbol of technological achievement, 
and historical importance in the field of naval warfare. Akula-class submarines, renowned for their massive size and advanced capabilities, hold the distinction of being the longest submarines in the world. The Dmitry Donskoy, the most prominent among them, measures an impressive 172 meters in length, nearly equating to the length of two football fields placed end to end. Standing from keel to the top at about 26 meters, it matches the height of a typical eight-story building. The submarine, designated as TK-208, boasts a staggering displacement of approximately 48,000 tons. To put this into perspective, this displacement is comparable to the volume of over 19 Olympic swimming pools filled to the brim. The immense power required to propel this behemoth comes from two OK-650 nuclear reactors, each capable of generating 190 megawatts of thermal power. To match this energy output on land, it would take about 2,200,000 watt solar panels operating at full capacity. The Akula-class submarine is equipped with 250-000 horsepower turbines, enabling it to achieve a maximum underwater speed of 27 knots equivalent to moving a nine-story building through the water at a speed of 50 kilometers per hour. When surfaced, the submarine can reach speeds of up to 22 knots. In recognition of its remarkable engineering, the Akula was listed in the Guinness Book of Records in 1986. Its unique design features a catamaran-like structure with two robust hulls. This dual-hull construction enhances its durability and provides the necessary buoyancy to support its massive size. Between these two holes in the front section of the vessel are housed 20 launch tubes for intercontinental ballistic missiles. This configuration allows the submarine to carry and potentially deploy a significant payload, making it a formidable component of naval strategic forces. The Akula-class submarine's design and capabilities underscore their status as a pinnacle of submarine engineering and military power. The entire structure of the submarine is unified by a light yet robust hull, within which are housed three additional strong capsules, the central control module, the forward torpedo compartment, and the rear mechanical compartment. This meticulous arrangement significantly enhances the submarine's fire safety and overall survivability. To further improve its stealth capabilities, the hull is coated with a specialized rubber material weighing a substantial 800 tons. This coating is designed to minimize noise, enabling the submarine to blend seamlessly into the ocean environment. Remarkably, this stealth is so effective that marine life, such as whales and orcas, often mistake the submarine for one of their own. Dmitry Donskoy is specifically engineered to operate in the challenging conditions of the Arctic's northern latitudes. It is capable of performing tactical maneuvers both on the surface and beneath the ice with the ability to break through ice blocks up to two meters thick. In contrast to the American Ohio-class submarines, which are not designed for such cold water operations, the Akula-class submarine's considerable dimensions are necessitated by its armament of new three-stage intercontinental ballistic missiles. These R-39-type missiles, carried by Dmitry Donskoy, boast superior flight range characteristics of 8,300 kilometers, allowing them to reach targets at the equator from the North Pole. Each missile weighs 90 tons, measures 16 meters in length, and has a diameter of 2.5 meters. The submarine is equipped to carry 20 of these formidable missiles in addition to its other weaponry, which includes four 21-inch and two 26-inch torpedo tubes. For anti-aircraft defense, the submarine is fitted with eight IGLA-1 systems. The design of Dmitry Donskoy is truly unique to the extent that experts believe it cannot be replicated. Visually, it bears a resemblance to a flattened French loaf and comprises two parallel, cigar-shaped cylinders, each with a diameter of 10 meters, interconnected by three passages between the compartments. Essentially, it can be considered as two submarines housed within a single enormous hull, with duplicated reactors, turbines, and crew cabins in each cylinder. This innovative structure significantly reduces the likelihood of the submarine sinking. If one half experiences a failure, the other half is capable of completing the mission and safely returning home. The submarine is divided into 19 watertight compartments and is equipped with two escape pods for the entire crew, located at the base of the sail. The crew of Dmitry Donskoy comprises 160 individuals, including 52 officers, ensuring a highly skilled and efficient operational team. When the submarine is on the surface, it is controlled from the sail, where various retractable devices, radio equipment, antennas, and periscopes are housed. 
This sail acts as the command center during surface operations, enabling the crew to navigate and communicate effectively. Below deck, in the central post, the crew manages the submarine's movements and the firing of missiles and torpedoes. This area is equipped with advanced navigation systems, weapon controls, and communication devices to ensure the submarine's readiness and operational efficiency. Inside, a submarine might seem filled with thousands of valves, pipelines, and instruments, which is true. However, the living quarters on Akala-class submarines are more reminiscent of a train compartment with long corridors, sliding doors, and plastic finishes. Descending into the living quarters, you first enter the recreation area, where submariners can watch movies in comfortable rocking chairs. There's even an old tube television specially designed for submarines, along with flowers and a fish tank, creating a surprisingly homely atmosphere. Moving forward from the recreation area, you'll find a gym, pool, sauna, and showers. The gym is equipped with various exercise machines and weights to help the crew stay fit during long deployments. The pool is always filled with cold seawater, perfect for a refreshing dip after a session in the sauna. The sauna and showers provide a way for the crew to relax and maintain personal hygiene, essential for morale and health in the confined environment of a submarine. To see the officer's mess, dining room, and other areas, you must pass through a series of living quarters and corridors. The officer's mess is a designated area where officers can dine and discuss operations in a more relaxed setting. Senior officers live in single cabins, providing them with privacy and space to conduct their duties. Junior officers share double cabins, fostering camaraderie while still offering some personal space. The enlisted crew resides in four-person cabins, each equipped with bunk beds, writing desks, wardrobes, and wash basins to ensure they have the essentials for daily life. Above each sleeping place is a hose-breathing apparatus necessary for protection in case of harmful chemical substances appearing in the compartments. These safety measures are crucial, as submarines operate in environments where exposure to hazardous materials is a constant risk. The living quarters are designed to be both functional and comfortable, ensuring that the crew can rest and recharge despite the demanding conditions of life underwater. The officer's mess on the Dmitry Donskoy resembles a museum, and this is no mistake. In the late 2000s, with the support of the Tula Museum Reserve Kulikovo Field, an active exhibition was established on the ship. This exhibition includes artifacts and historical items that reflect the rich maritime history and the ship's storied past. In the officer's mess, there's a cleverly hidden door that seamlessly blends into the walls, leading to the crew's dining room and galley. Here, professional cooks, who regularly undergo rigorous training, prepare meals for the crew. The daily menu is notably lavish, featuring items such as chocolate, red wine, red caviar, or red fish. These delicacies are part of the effort to maintain high morale among the submariners. The crew also celebrates holidays and special occasions on board. For each birthday, the ship's cook bakes a special cake, which is then presented by the ship's commander in a ceremonial manner at the central post. This tradition fosters a sense of camaraderie and boosts the spirits of the crew during their long missions underwater. This concludes our tour inside the world's most powerful nuclear submarine, as entry to strategically important compartments is strictly prohibited. The uniqueness of Dmitry Donskoy is renowned worldwide. Its image has been featured in numerous Western action films, books, and documentaries. American journalist Mark Bishop notably called Dmitry Donskoy a doomsday machine, highlighting its formidable capabilities and the sheer power it represents. The question remains, is it worth investing massive state budget funds to build such machines? This debate touches on national security, technological advancement, and the balance of power on a global scale. The existence of such submarines underscores the ongoing strategic arms race and the importance of maintaining a robust defense system. What are your thoughts on the allocation of resources to such powerful and potentially destructive technology?